As a basic example, let us solve this problem. Solve the right triangle for which A is equal to 32.46 and B is equal to 25.78. Okay, so first to solve this one, we need to draw no, the right triangle. So let us draw a right triangle. Okay, so this is the 90 degree angle. Of course, this is C. Okay. And this is small letter C side C. Okay, so if this is A, capital letter A, this is a small letter A. If this is B, then this is the small letter B. Okay. So, to solve a triangle, we need at least three given. You know? Aside from the 90 degree angle, so dalawa ang kailangan na given natin to solve the right triangle. Ang ibig sabihin ng solve the right triangle, we need to find all the um, measurement of the angles and the sides. Okay, so alam na natin ang letter A, ang side A. So, let us encircle yung mga given. So, given si side A, given si side B, at saka given si C. C is always given because C is always 90 degrees. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin to solve the right triangle, yung angle A, angle B, and side C. Okay? Ang given natin, B and A. So, Ano ang pwede nating ma-solve? Una, since given tayo ng dalawang sides of the triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse. Kasi in a right triangle, dalawa lang na formula ano, yung pwede natin gamitin. The first one is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, una, the Pythagorean theorem. At pangalawa, yung recently na pinapag-aralan natin ngayon, the Sokatokwa. Okay, so ito lang naman. Basta right triangle ang, ang, ang problem, itong dalawa lang yung ating ginagamit. Okay, so kung dalawang side ang given, we can solve for the third side using Pythagorean Theorem. Kasi the Pythagorean Theorem involve, it involves... Uh, the three sides of the right triangle. So, ano yung Pythagorean theorem? So, C squared, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides. So, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, ang ano natin ay C. So, C squared equals, we can uh, substitute the given. So, this is 32.46 squared plus 25.78 squared. Okay? So, okay. C squared is equal to okay, it's equal to 1 7 1 8.26 and then we need to take the square root of bo uh, both sides so c therefore is equal to the square root of the answer so c is equal to 41 uh, to two decimal places this is 41.45 okay okay so in circle na natin ano yung c because we have solved for we have solved for C. And C is equal to 41.45. Okay, ang unknowns na lang natin uh, are the angles A and B. So, to solve for angle A, so ito yung angle natin, ano? Ito yung angle natin. So, ang i-involve natin na side, if this is the unknown angle, yung given, ano, na dalawa yung A and B. So, kung ito yung angle natin, at ang, ang given ay A and B, nito, A and B, 
Ano yung gagamitin natin na function dito sa sokatowa? Is it the so, the, the ka, or the towa? Okay, so i-define natin kung ano ang relationship ng angle na itong angle na to, angle A, dito sa mga sides natin. So, if this is the angle, then A is the opposite, right? A is the opposite side. And B is the B is the adjacent side kasi kaabay na lang, 'di ba? Adjacent kaabay na ng side. So, ang ang involved na sides ay opposite tsaka adjacent. So, yung so is opposite hypotenuse, yung ka adjacent hypotenuse, yung tangent opposite adjacent. So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon is the tangent kasi involved ang opposite and adjacent. So, let us solve for A. So, ibig sabihin nito, the tangent of the angle, tangent of the angle A is equal to the opposite A divided by the adjacent B. So, kapag ano, nag-substitute tayo, so, tangent of A is equal to uh, 32.46 divided by 25.78. Okay, so ang A natin ngayon, we need to take the inverse tangent of, uh, inverse tangent, tangent raised to negative 1 of 32.46 divided by 25.78. And this one is equal to Fifty one point fifty four. Okay, fifty one point fifty four degrees. Okay. <coughs> okay, so yun na yung ano natin yung angle A natin. Okay, so ito na given na rin yung angle A. We have solved for angle A. So last na yung angle B. There are many ways ano to solve for B. Una, ang unang way we know that the sum of the interior angles of the triangle, okay, the sum of these three angles, ito, okay, angle A, angle B, and angle C, should be equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, pwede natin yun lang ngayon. Okay? Pwede yung solution yun. Okay? You know? So, the sum of the interior angles is equal to 180. So, angle A plus B plus angle C should be equal to 180 degrees. This is true ano, for all types of triangles. So, kahit anong itsura ng triangle natin, the sum of the interior angles should be equal to 180 degrees. So, since alam na natin yung A and C, a, we have computed to be 51.54 degrees, and C is the 90 degree angle. So, B therefore is equal to 180 degrees minus 51.54 degrees, and then minus 90 degrees. Therefore, our B is... Thirty-eight point forty-six degrees. Okay, so yeah, na solve na natin lahat yung mga parts, ano? All the parts of the right triangle. Okay, yung sinasabi ko kanina na you can also use um other methods to solve for the angle B, pwede din. You can use Sokatowa. Kasi itong Sokatowa uh, is used to solve for the angle. Okay. So, the Sokatowa can be used to solve for the angle as well. Kagaya nito. B, ano ba ang gusto mong i-involve na sides? Kung gusto mong i-involve yung A and B, so B, kung B yung unknown natin, Ito yung unknown natin. 
So, ibig sabihin, this is the opposite. Ito na ngayon yung opposite natin. This is the adjacent. So, if we use TOA, magkaiba na ngayon yung ano natin, yung opposite sa adjacent natin. So, tangent of B is equal to the opposite is B na ngayon. So, 25.78 divided by the adjacent is 32.76. So, we need the inverse tangent inverse tangent of 25.78 divided by 32.46. So, yung B natin, we should come up with the same answer kagaya ng sa taas. Ano? So, 25.78 divided by 32.46 is 38.46 approximately. Okay, so, whatever your solution is, uh, parehas na tama. Ano? Parehas na tama.